First, check the expiration date printed on the pouch of your device. Any expired test should not be used and disposed of. Then, open the pouch and pull the talk swipe out of the buffer cap. Make sure not to touch the sample pad area while doing so. Place the sample pad end of the talk swipe into the subject's mouth. To properly stimulate and collect saliva, wipe the device along the top sides of the tongue, below the sides of the tongue, and inside the cheek. Then place the device underneath the sides of the tongue as if you were taking the subject's temperature with a thermometer. Check the saliva sufficiency indicators as you collect saliva. Once they start wicking, you may insert the talk swipe into the buffer cavity. Using the front corner, push the device until fully inserted. Hold the device upright or lying down, but do not place upside down or on its side. Make sure the test is valid by reading the C line first. Only read results if the C line appears. If all lines appear after three minutes, the results can be considered negative. If lines still do not appear at five minutes, the result is considered positive. In this example, we can see the subject tested positive for opiates and benzodiazepines. Remember, the presence of a line indicates negative results, and only the complete absence of a line indicates the presence of drugs in the saliva sample. This test does not need to be conducted in a laboratory setting. It can be conducted anywhere.